Hey, it's a great day. I'm Energizer, and today is day 55 on the Appalachian Trail. Yeah, so let's do this. So for today, walking through Pennsylvania still, uh, today's supposed to be one of the hardest um, days in Pennsylvania as far as going over the rocks. Uh, knife's Edge is coming up pretty quick today and then uh, around the 15, 16 mile mark, big steep climb requires some, some scrambling. So hey, you know, you know, it's been, you know, Pennsylvania, it's, it's, it's had some stupid moments, but, um, all in all, you know, the rocks really haven't been that bad. Uh, so, yeah, get today done, and, uh, these parts are supposed to be kind of fun, so I'm looking forward to that. I don't mind fun rocks, so this will be fun, and, uh, Get it knocked out and see how far I can get today. It's all good. First view of the morning, looking good. Power line break, looking out over the valley. Still a lot of low clouds, but the sky is clear, so that's good. This is up on the other side, looking southeast. Nice. And so it begins. <laughs> Time to do a little scrambling. Yep, up on the nice edge. Yes. Views, one of the best in PA here in Bake Oven Knob. So go over, yeah, over this right way? Here. You'll see. It doesn't look like it, but there's a nice road, go, road going through there, real nice. And then how far does the knife's edge go further down? It keeps going, but when you go down like 10 minutes from here, Yeah. It's ugly going down. That's why I said about your poles, because you may, you, a lot of people go down partly on their ass. Got it. Yeah, yeah got but, it. Uh, the, when you think you get right down there, when you see this, this no, it terraces down slowly. Okay. I mean, you've got over a mile of rocks right now. Okay. But. So a mile more of rock. Thanks for all the tips. Oh, yeah, you'll be all right. Beautiful here, though. Oh my God, I love coming here to eat my breakfast. Still going over the edge. Moondog was really helpful in helping uh, the two through hikers that were with me and myself get over uh, the knife side, kind of guiding us through and saying, hey, this is, this is the best method to, to go through. And I, as you can see, I put my sticks away. They're, they're um, in my rucksack right now because uh, in case I need my hands again uh, for upcoming adventures. But he was really helpful. He maintains this section of the trail. Uh, and, you know, he said, hey, you know, there isn't a, a leaf or a twig that's going to touch you when you're walking this this part of the trail. He maintains it so well, uh, but he says, I can't do anything about the rock. Sorry about that. Uh, but he, he walks this every morning and he has breakfast up on the knife's edge. And so I imagine the through hikers that are behind me that'll be coming through this morning. He'll be up there helping them as well. So really good guy. Really nice of him to do that. Hey, this is trail magic. For this morning. This is awesome. These guys have been setting up for a couple days. Yeah, you guys deserve it. Trail magic. You guys are the best. You need to charge your phone or anything? So that was the Allentown Hiking Club. And they do this every year. Uh, take two days and just incredible, incredible amount of trail magic. I mean, the best, the best trail magic 
I have received uh, so far on trail. Just absolutely phenomenal. Uh, everything that they had there and what they were doing. Uh, so anybody that comes through today, they're gonna be treated to something really, really special. Thank you, Allentown Hiking Club. Yeah, you're the best. <laughs> Unreal. Really old shelter here. But, oh, looks good. Yeah, more rocks. Nice view from the power line break. It's a good day. About to take a big drop down into the valley and then a big climb out. Another view looking down. I haven't started yet, but the people at the Trail Magic were warning me about the descent. I couldn't figure it out. The uh, map showed me going over uh, the freeway down there. And I couldn't figure it out. I hadn't crossed it. I hadn't crossed it. That's because there's a tunnel underneath this huge mountain right here, or hill, and I actually walked over it never knew it. Looking down in the valley, you can see the road going and then it goes into that cut between the two hills. I think that's where things will get ugly. You know, the descent coming down here to Palmdale, Palmdale, it wasn't bad at all. But uh, now i got to go up. And yeah, I've seen video for that. So let's see how it goes. Kind of goes straight up that. Beautiful view. Beautiful view. If you look real close, Right down there, those people swimming. Yeah, I was just with them. They're all through hikers. They're taking a dip and then going into town to chill out. But uh, I decided to push on. Yep, looks like they're doing all right. Yeah, got some people rafting too. Coming down. It's a beautiful day. So far, going up's been pretty standard, but. This is where, <laughs> this is where the fun begins. That's steep. Yeah. Yeah. Starting to get serious. <laughs> I think this is the last little bit. We'll see. Come up over this ridge and now looking down the other side Incredible view. And heading that way and around up the hill. Now that's a view. Wow.
Hey, for about the uh, last mile and a half, and it looks like it's gonna continue on for a while longer, there is a brand new section of the Appalachian Trail. Uh, it, it, far out, it's not even accurate. Uh, supposedly, this section just opened up this month. Uh, right when you get up the, from the ridge, uh, it veers off to the right uh, and then goes along the southern portion of the ridge line instead of the northern portion of the ridge line. Uh, I gotta tell you, um, how it's designed, where it's designed, the views, um, even the rock work, everything about it is just absolutely fabulous. Somebody really took the time to think about what they wanted to do and make a great, great trail. Uh, they moved, I mean, boulders, boulders. They laid down boulders to where when you get to the rock fields, either the rocks have been completely minimized where you're walking through the smallest of the rocks in the rock field, um, and I mean, barely twist an ankle, you know, uh, walking straight, or they just laid them down like cobblestones and you're walking over them like you're, you're on a road. Um, just behind me, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but just how the rock work is done. Somebody took the time to build this part of the trail right. It's just absolutely fantastic, and I want to commend whoever did it. It's about a two-mile section. It's brand new, open this month. Uh, like I said, far out. It's not even accurate, but well done. Well done. See, look at this. This is actually a path. Somebody took the time to move all of these rocks and then lay out like a little sidewalk so it's easy walking all the way through. And they've done this throughout all the rocky portions. It is just a great trail. Another example right here. Instead of just having the rocks randomly stick out in jagged edges, somebody laid them out like cobblestones. Took the time to do it. Really well done. Here's another example. See, we're in a rock field, walking through rocks, but where we're supposed to walk Someone took the time to lay out a path, minimize the twisting and turning, so it's easy walking. God, what an idea, huh? I haven't shown you what's to the south of this ridge line, but now I'm on the other side, and this is to the north. Pretty nice. Another example, rock field. Random rocks right and left. Look at the path. Somebody laid it out. Easy to walk over. Slabs have been laid down. It's joined back up with the uh, old Appalachian Trail route. That's the old route there, two and a half miles later. This is the new route here. This is the way Far Out says to go. This is the way the White Blazes are saying, now you gotta go. Yeah, well done, well done. And friends, for me, I'm heading north. So closing out day 55 on the Appalachian Trail. Good day, good day. Uh, wound up walking 25 miles. I'm at a stealth campsite right now. Um, yeah, the Trail Magic by the Allentown Hiking, the Allentown Hiking Club. Uh, was just absolutely phenomenal. The best I've, I've had so far on trail. Just really, really nice for them to do that. It was incredibly generous. Uh, walking over the knife's edge and then down into Lehigh Gap and then up over uh, out of Lehigh Gap doing the scrambling. That was a lot of fun. I mean, it was, it, it was rock you know, scrambling with a purpose, and I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. Um, and then, yeah, some parts of the trail were real nice. Some of the parts of the trail were just, you know, kind of stupid. Um, but that new section of trail, that new section of trail really was outstanding. And that gives me hope. That gives me hope that... There is a new generation of 
designers and builders uh, for Pennsylvania on the AT, and uh, I think they'll bring I think they'll bring the uh, Appalachian Trail in Pennsylvania into the 21st century. I mean, even if they brought it into the late 20th century, that would be really nice. Um, but that uh, that was really hopeful. Uh, incredible trail. They did an outstanding job, and they should be commended. Outstanding job. So, overall, great day. Um, we'll see what tomorrow brings. See you tomorrow.